Motorcycle.com's best shootouts of 2017. We continue our look back through the past 12 months and reminisce about some of our favorite bike comparisons of 2017. Our 5 most memorable comparos from the year cross a gamut of motorcycle categories and sizes. This year, we had our usual favorites, like the always popular multi-part superbike shootout, but we also mixed things up with a couple of comparisons featuring bikes from the same manufacturer, with small but fundamentally distinct differences between them. Everything old is new again, and that holds true with motorcycles with the recent trend of brand new models that harken back to the classics of yesteryear. For this comparison, we had three very distinct engine configurations, with the BMW R19 Pierce Boxer Twin, Honda CV1100S inline 4, and the parallel twin Triumph Bonneville T120 Black.1 surprising trend from 2017 was the sudden influx of small displacement adventure bikes on the market. While we're still waiting for the likes of the BMW G310GS and Suzuki V-Strom 250 to reach our shores, and while we're at it, when will KTM get around to building a 390 adventure, we managed to wrangle together a Honda CRF250L rally and a Kawasaki Versi Sex 300 along with the 250 cubic centimeter CSCRXR. Honda Africa Twin Shootout like we did with the Harleys, we put a pair of Honda Africa twins up against one another, one equipped with the standard 6-speed manual transmission and one with the automatic dual clutch transmission. Dirtbikes.com editor Scott Russell and guest tester Scott Schaffstall took the twin twins out on the annual off-rider taste of the car adventure ride, testing them on rugged off-road environments to see if Honda's DCT technology could match up against the tried and true manual clutch. Perhaps the only thing that could have made this comparison even better was if we could have included a couple of Italian studs like the Ducati Ponygale and the MV Augusta F4. We'll add that to our New Year's resolutions. Finally, for those of you paying attention, we have most holiday surprise delivery of the brand new Super Naked Street Fighter shootout which didn't go live until December 23rd. It's too early to tell, but it will quite possibly challenge the above list for the most read item in any given six month period. MO comparison tests and shootouts take a lot of work and cost a lot of money but in the end they are our favorite stories to produce and our readers favorite stories to read. We hope 2018 can live up to the lofty shootout standards of 2017. And it'll sure be fun trying.